Hey everybody, so John McGarrett, I'm here with a uh, quick tutorial. I'm gonna just kind of show you guys something, give you something. I'm trying to get my three videos a day. For that, could, uh, if this uh, helped you at all, or if you're feeling generous, can you just give me a subscribe before, or let's just jump right into it, I guess. So essentially how I make uh, thumbnails myself is I use uh, AI because I don't want to pay somebody and I don't want to learn how to use Photoshop. I mean, you, I can go on Google and probably find stock images and do a good enough job, but uh, ChatGPT, um, Bing AI image creator and stable, stable diffusion online. They're all, they all use the Dolly three, which is doing pretty good. For instance, let me, let me just make a picture. Doge meme. Can you generate Doge meme? It does a, it does a pretty good job. Like the realistic images and stuff like that are wonky, but, um, the images for like cartoons and characters and stuff like that. So like taking characters and manipulating them in, into different things. And, um, so one of the first things I'd recommend is if like you're going to be a creator or something like that, see how that it's pretty good. And yeah, with no context, it still made like a relatively creative like uh, image. But anyway, so what I would recommend is if you're going to do any sort of like YouTube or anything like that, and you don't want to like, you want to focus on the content creation and not so much on the thumbnails. I would, I would, well, okay. So I'd recommend getting chat GPT plus anyway, it's $20 a month. You get like a virtual assistant and it'll do like crazy stuff for you. Like you can, you can have it write base scripts for you that you can bounce ideas off of. You can use it to write bulk text and stuff like that. But I mean, we could talk about that. I could make an entire tutorial about chat GPT. I've been using it since like, uh, I think I want to say like February, January, whatever, had thousands of conversations with it. But anyway, let's just focus on the thumbnail. So the thumbnail, essentially, um, so I'm going to, I'm going to make the thumbnail for the, how to make the thumbnail video. So essentially like since I'm so tired and I'm beaten up from work and stuff like that, and I'm just trying to struggle this video out, I'm going to ask it, but okay. Okay. So I'm, and my strategy for talking to ChatGPT is like, I try to talk to it like it's any one of my, my friends or something like I message somebody It might not work for a lot of people that you might not use the internet a lot, but just try how you talk to somebody. It's just like a person. I just try to imagine it's a person. And then I'm trying to explain to a person that it just helps me not think about too much, like uh, get in my head about if this is good enough or not. So I'm trying to make a YouTube video on how to make a thumbnail using chat GPT. And then you want to be specific. So can, what do you think I should make for the thumbnail? And then it'll give you ideas essentially. Uh, so like, this is just for like bouncing ideas off of and stuff like that. I mean, you, and you can use 3.5, you can use the free version for this. It's just sometimes you're going to run into the, um, the server uh, lag or whatever, where they won't let you use it, but just use AI. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I kind of got an idea. Can you, uh, can you make a, an image of a computer screen with a, like an editing software up on it, working on a graphic I think that'll do just fine. So then like this, and then like the other thing I'll do uh, is then just like when it generates me a base image, I'm going for a base image and then I'm going for text and then I'm going for a character to overlay on top. That's usually what I try to do for each image, okay? So that so we're going for a base image, we're going for text and we're going for, so this looks fine. You know, this does pretty much it right here. Oh, right. And then ask for it in aspect ratio 16.9. So uh, aspect. Can you remake that in AR 16, nine? Cause you want the thumbnail size by 1280 by 720. And then it'll, it won't be perfect, but it'll make the same concept, like, but just maybe a different angle or something like that or whatever. Um, it's just enough to convey the message. And like, say like you want the thumbnail to pop, you can ask it to make contrasting colors and use like two different colors. So like look up what Mr. Beast is doing. He does a lot of like light blues and yellows and stuff like that. And just big exaggerated smiles and, features like that and we'll get that with the character or something like that so boom perfect and you make okay and you make me a character who is doing a you can quote this and then just like uh do the emote face an o face 
and then just kind of double down by like like he's really surprised to see and then you know it doesn't have to be you can you can spe specify the character and stuff like that but just kind of if you um, keep it uh, simple and concise, you're going to get clear, concise, simple images. And, you know, you can look at the images and just kind of... I try to go for simple concepts and stuff so I don't have to, like, remove stuff or edit stuff around that looks, like, too AIE. Because I know a lot of people don't like that. But this is just for thumbnail purposes, so it's kind of... It's just kind of a glance. So if they... If you... Whatever you made, if you got them to look at it, that's the whole objective. There we go. See? Perfect. So then I'll just take this image, and this is where we're going to go to the second part, which is going to paint 3D. That's all I need to use. So you drop that in. And then we're going to go to canvas and, and get this height or width and height. And you want to resize it with the image canvas. So it changes to the size you want to make it. And it's 1280 by 720. And that's what we're going to work with here. And then I zoom out. Okay. We're going to zoom out. Oh, sorry. Let me undo that. And then we're going to unresize because we need a working platform. Or you can just open up a second window. But this is where we're going to um, use a, another thing called magic select. If you haven't used that before to grab our character. It is on a white background, so but we got to make it into a sticker. So we're gonna grab our character, copy image, head back over. We're gonna paste the image, and it's not white. So if I think if I drag it over, it'll uh, whoops. If I drag it over, yeah, it'll block it out. So like for transparency, but there's this thing called magic select. You go like this, bang. Add. So I'm gonna draw this guy, a circle around him, and yep, it grabbed him mostly we'll add there and we're going to remove actually all this that's not him obviously this isn't as smooth as i thought it was going to be it's probably because the background isn't like a, a solid white color or a solid color maybe i should have it remake it on a um oof So if we hit done, it'll pop it out and make it like a sticker. And see, so you can't really see that uh that white. Oh, I guess you can when you slap it on the. Uh... Oh, it's kind of rough. No worries, it'll troubleshoot this. It'll be good for you if you see something like this. Maybe I can fix this real quick. Um, so we're gonna go back to ChatGPT. Can you give me that character? On like um, whoops. Can you give me that character on? Um like a green screen i think if we use like a solid color it would make it easier for the image to detect because it's off white or whatever and it's too close to the background's color i think so it was it was kind of hard for the program probably to detect the image and like pull it off there we go i like how it made his uh eyes green as well Okay, so we have our character. Let's try magic selecting again. So then we just want to like go around it as much as possible. As close as we can so it, it can kind of detect what we're trying to go for. So I think if I do that and then hit next. Right, see, it had the contrast so it was a lot easier for it to pull it off. And we got it off the sticker. Oops. And it's its own entity now, so you can, like, move it around and you don't have to, like, worry about, like, um, having to, like, scoop it up again and then, uh, screw up the background with it. So now if we go back to canvas, we'll go back, we'll just, we'll just cut it back. Our character's gonna move around, too. You might lose this guy, but you can just bring him back. Uh, doo -doo -doo. All right, so now we got our little guy here, and you know, I'm gonna kinda, I just want him to be, not in the center, just kinda off center. Looks pretty all right. Wait, maybe the left side's probably better. All right, yeah, so. 
put them over here. And then we're gonna go like YouTube, AI, thumbnail, or yeah, yeah, sorry. The third part of this then is we're going to go to a YouTube thumbnail text generator. That's what I go at. Textcraft.net is what we go to. Okay, so then I like to go to YouTube style here and then chunk five for my text font. And then we're gonna go, uh, I just, just basic. I don't wanna do anything too crazy. I'm pretty tired. So we're just gonna go AI, uh, YouTube thumbnail tutorial. Or OMG, you made this with So then if we copy this image, we'll be able to drop it back in. And it's gonna be bigger than the uh, image itself, so it's gonna push it to the sides. So then we just gotta, you know, shrink it back up. And then we're going to uh, crop it. This is its own entity, so if you drop it in and then try to move it around again, you can't grab it again. So you'll have to like, repaste it. So then blam. It contrasts, okay. I mean, I could probably do like a red or something like that. It'd probably stick out a little bit better, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just trying to get it up and I still need to make one more. So this is going to be good. Okay. So essentially then you just, there's your, there's your thumbnail. You save it. And then when you go to upload the, you got your thumbnail right here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Hope that was easy. Hope this was quick. Um, if you, uh, hopefully this helped you out. I mean, I ain't got much more to say. Just have a good day. You know, get out there, get creating. Uh, see ya.